Vo News, 4th of August 2022, South African farmers complain that China's wool ban harms their livelihood. Wool producers in South Africa must diversify their exports as China exits the global market. Scipio Makinyana is a modest-scale sheep farmer who resides in Yugi, a small village at the foot of the Drakensberg Mountains in the eastern Cape province. Makina claims he often receives 150 rands, or $9, for each kilo of wool. However, since China prohibited South African wool shipments in April due to an epidemic of the highly contagious foot and mouth disease in several regions, things have been difficult, he told Voa. As a small-scale farmer, I've lost 60,000 rands because of the Chinese ban, which is a lot of money, complained Makinyana, adding that other sheep farmers in his region had wasted wool sitting in their sheds. Roughly 80% of South Africa's annual wool exports, which total about $300 million, are sent to China. Local sheep farmers and business associations are pleading with Beijing to ease the embargo. According to the general manager of the National Wool Growers Association, Leon de Beer, the prohibition has resulted in losses totaling about 734 million rands, or $43 million. More than 40,000 small-scale sheep farmers in South Africa, according to de Beer, generate about 6 million kg of wool annually. The livelihoods of 4,500 additional seasonal sheep shearers, and their own, are now in danger. If the Chinese market continues to be barred to wool from South Africa, these farmers in neighboring areas will slip back into poverty, he told Voa. According to van der Reed of AgriSA, the organization pleads with the South African government to raise its issues with China. He told Voa, we've informed the Chinese authorities that we adhered to a very, very stringent process. Although the Chinese official media has previously written about the foot and mouth outbreak in South Africa, the Chinese embassy in Pretoria has not responded to repeated requests for comment. Due to an outbreak, South Africa lost its classification as a foot and mouth disease free zone with the World Organization for Animal Health in 2019. At that time, China temporarily halted the import of beef. China and Mozambique imposed trade restrictions in response to the recent disease outbreak. The consequences can be disastrous when the second largest economy in the world stops importing your product. Australian wine exports to China were retaliation for Canberra's comments regarding COVID-19's genesis. Following U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to the island this week, Beijing imposed import prohibitions on hundreds of Taiwanese food manufacturers. The South African wool embargo is only a precautionary measure taken by the government due to contamination concerns. However, the prohibition has highlighted the risks associated with importing primarily for a single nation.